Hey G-Squad, well, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode is this cool amazing product right here in my hand and basically what this is is a wireless earbud. You guys can see it from the brand right here and this is their G10 wireless earbuds. But let's open up the product first to show you guys what the product looks like and what comes out the package first. All right, so we slide it out. This is basically what it looks like right here. Open up this part right here, tells you guys to expect the unexpected. And when we take off this part right here, first thing you can see is the actual case itself and the earbuds right there. So when we open up this part right here, inside they do provide you guys the little warranty and also instruction card in here, if you guys need that instruction right here. And then on the bottom right there, you can see that there's an accessory or the keyboard right there. So let's take everything out first. So right here we have the cable. So the cable that they provide for you guys is a USB to USB-C cable. So you guys can charge it faster since so it does use a USB-C output or input. And inside here, they do provide you guys some extra earbuds, air tips that you guys can replace if the one that they provide for you guys does not fit. And that is all the accessories. Now let's take a look at the actual product itself. So right here we have the earbuds and right here we have the case itself. So this is basically what the case looks like right here. So they have the brand logo right there. On the back part is the outlet right here. There's a plug in the cable to charge it, which is USB-C. When we open it up, this is basically what it looks like inside. And right there we have the AirPods right here. So this is basically what it looks like on this side. And this is basically what it looks like on the other side right here. And on the AirPods itself, it actually labels left and right. So you guys know which side is which. So once you put it in there, you can see the light pops on right there. So that's how you guys know when it's charging right there and right there. And if you guys look right here, they do have the indicator light right here to show you guys where the percentage is for the case. So right now it's fully charged. So there's three bars. So if it's down to one bar, then you guys need to recharge the case. And it does turn off by itself for after a while, if you guys can see. So once you guys close it back up like that, you guys can just let it fully charge the uh, AirPods itself or the case if you guys have the cable plugged in. So before we try it out, let me actually charge it up to show you guys how to know when it's charging first. All right, so we got a power bank right here. Let's plug it in. All right, so we have it plugged in. You guys can see the lights up right there. So that's how you guys know when it's charging, if you guys can see. So basically right now it's almost fully charged already. It is fully charged already. If you guys can see it's on the third bar right there. So now let's actually try it out and see how it works first. So all we need to do is just take it out and put it into the ear and just pair it up. So once we stick it in, this is basically what it looks like right here, if you guys can see. It definitely feels like it has a nice secure fit, but I feel like over time we had to try it out when we go for running and everything and see how it works when we do physical activity and everything. Another thing that I did notice is that once I put this on, it definitely has that noise isolation or noise cancellation because I don't hear the surrounding as much. If there is any noise going on, I don't hear it. But we have it connected now, so let me just try it out. All right, so let's try it out. So if you press it one time on either side, it play or pause the music. And I believe if you guys want to skip the song, you guys want to double tap it. Same thing for the other side. All right. So if you guys want to increase or lower the volume, you guys want to press and hold on to the AirPods like this. You guys can see, so it does work. And if you guys want to activate voice assistant like Siri or whatever, you just want to tap it three times. So just like this, one, two, three. And when you guys get a call or if you guys want to reject the call, you just have to tap it one time when you guys actually receive the call. And there is this option on here if you guys want to turn on or off the game mode, you guys want to tap it four times. So one, two, three, four. So it turns on game mode. And if you guys want to turn it off, you guys want to press again four times. And you do have the option to either use a single mode or double mode. And what I mean by single mode is that if you guys just want to use one earbud, you definitely can. But if you guys want to use two, then you just want to uh, turn on both of them. And if you guys want to manually close the actual uh, earbud itself, you just have to hold it down for around like eight seconds or so, and it actually will turn off the actual earbud itself. But definitely one thing that I noticed on the earbud itself, it definitely has a really strong audio and really strong bass when we actually use it. I think comparing to a lot of other earbuds that I've touched in the past, this one definitely has one of the strongest audio and bass. I think in the bass in particular, it has a really, really strong bass compared to other earbuds that I've tested in the past. And for these earbuds, they are water resistant or waterproof to a certain extent. Based on what they mentioned, it is IPX8. So that's actually pretty high. And in terms of how long is the battery life on the actual product itself, you can get a maximum of six hours of usage on the actual AirPods itself. And you guys can get additional 36 hours using the case itself if you guys fully charge. 
So you guys get a roughly around like 42 hours of usage with the case itself included, which is pretty awesome. And obviously it does depend on how you guys use the earbuds itself. If you guys turn it too high in terms of the volume control, then it actually will not last that six hour dimension. But if you guys turn in the, the lowest one, then you definitely get that uh, six hours of usage that they mentioned on each time of the earbuds itself. In terms of charging the case itself, it takes around one hour and 30 minutes to fully charge up the case from zero to 100. And that is because it uses a USB-C cable, so it does charge fast. Now let me actually try out the mic on the actual earbuds itself and see what it sounds like. So basically what you guys are listening to right now is the audio from the actual earbuds itself. Now let's try out the iPhone and see what it sounds like. All right, so what you guys are listening to now is the audio on the iPhone itself. So let's see what the difference is between both of these uh, microphone on the iPhone versus the headphone itself. All right, so after doing a quick test for the headphone versus the iPhone audio, you can definitely hear that the mic test is not that good. And that's probably because of how far the actual mic is. So if you guys are holding the AirPods right next to your mouth, then you can definitely hear much clearer. So the audio and the bass on the actual AirPods itself is really, really good. But the mic itself is not too good if you guys use it with the AirPods on your ear. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we do unboxing and testing the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that this is worth it if you guys want more than need one of these, especially if you guys want a better earbud that can perform better in terms of the audio and the uh, bass itself, then this is definitely really worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have need one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that actually do need. But other than that, that's much just for quick unboxing and testing on the product itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom and it'll definitely help this channel out and help this video out as well. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive be you and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.